Hey, how are you guys doing? So I'd just like to talk about how to spot a fake leather jacket. Now, these are two of the same jackets, supposedly, from uh, Ralph Lauren. It's a brown lambskin leather jacket. Now, I accidentally uh, ordered a fake one along with the real one. And uh, it's pretty obvious. You can really tell the difference, especially, you know, with the human eye. Uh, so I'm just going to talk about the key differences and that distinguish it for a fake jacket from a real one. Uh, first of all is the color tone. So this one's like a rich, deep, dark color. And, uh, this one, you know, slightly lighter and not as pleasant to the eye. I mean, you still could get away with it because it's quite a well done fake. But, uh, obviously, uh, I already prefer the color of this one. Um... But that's not enough evidence, apparently. So let's go with the labeling. Uh, so, yeah, all looks well and good. Attached extra buttons with the price tag and all the information there. And Instagram, yep, it looks, it looks pretty real, like straight from the shop. Uh, the other one, well, doesn't include any of it. And there is a difference with the label. Um, this one is like, you know, the blue is much, the tag is much bigger. That's a smaller tag. And uh, yeah, they did go to the extra length to get the size on there. But um, yeah, you can tell that. It, and you see you got, you got something on the back here as well that's, you know, more authentic. Here, nothing. Nah. Uh, you almost got me there, but uh, not quite, not quite uh okay what next uh we can talk about the lining itself uh obviously they want to imitate the same lining of the original uh very similar just slightly different um so like a similar pattern obviously the color here is a little bit darker uh but it's more about the feel of the fabric so here it's like really smooth and this one it feels really rough, yeah. Um, it's kind of like like feels like a bed cloth or sheets that you know from your grandparents' house or something. That's what it feels like. This feels like yeah, much more luscious, luxurious. Yeah, definitely feel more comfortable in that inside out. Uh, also, the lever itself. Now, this is a as I said, a lambskin lever, so that will be genuine lambskin. Um uh, feels very very soft, very smooth, very lightweight. With this one feels kind of flimsy, almost like uh polyester. I mean, yeah, it is it is smooth and everything, but uh there is a big difference. You see, this is like cushioning the hand with the texture, and this one's kind of like um you know, it does the job, but, uh, you know, if you want some genuine material, this is the one to go. You can just tell just by looking at it, I suppose. So, yeah, no, it could be polyester or some kind of fakish uh, synthetic leather. Probably, yes, yeah, synthetic leather. I'm not really an expert on that, but uh, you can definitely tell the difference when you, you know, put your fingers around it and feel it. Uh, what else? What else can we look at? Uh, stitching, yeah. So stitching here, I mean, not that it's a bad thing to have like, you know, big stitching, but you know, when you, when you uh, compare the two, you can see the difference, like stitching near the pockets here, they're you know, very small, very close together, like expertly done. And here, you know, ad adequately done, competently done, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm just comparing like really small details. And when you add up those details together, you can really see the difference. Uh, what else can I comment on? I'm sure there is a lot more. Uh, the collar, well, it's supposed to be exactly the same model. I mean, according to eBay, it was, uh, you know, exactly the same picture. <laughs> a one telltale sign is uh, if um, if you look at the jacket on eBay and the, uh, the pictures of the jacket doesn't show the jacket in its actual current condition, it just has like a stock photo from the shop, it's probably a fake, and that was the case with this one. With the authentic one, the trusted seller, you know, they they uh, take a picture of the actual jacket on the bed of and 
shows you exactly how it looks like. So it's not like just from, you know, a Google image of that particular jacket. Uh, the collar, they have this very specific shape. This is a smaller collar, very nice. And here it's kind of like, almost, it's way too big. It's like a big, like, almost like a cape or something. Like, it's just gonna... But maybe it's the style, but uh, the thing is, it's supposed to be exactly the same jacket. And you can tell it's nowhere near the same uh, size. And um, and obviously this one, you know, it's okay, It's but it's just a little too big for a collar. Uh, what else can we talk about? Oh, yes, yes, small details. Very small details is worth looking into. So, um, the zipper... Um, this one's a standard Y, the fake one, the standard YKK zipper, uh, which I suppose is the cheapest and easiest one to manufacture and you know use. And this one, the the real one, it's not YKK as far as I, as I believe it's uh, Talon. Well, the fact that is you know that it's different, it you know. Shows me that's something special, something unique, and something of uh, you know authentic to the particular brand. Uh, you got this material here for the zipper. Yeah, very nice compared to this one. Oh, this one's really thin right here. You can easily rip it off like just by accident. Yeah, yeah. I can... This one's much more sturdier. It's not going to just pull off, you know, by accident if you were zipping it. I mean, I haven't uh, test feel, uh, feel tested these for it. So, you know, I'd rather be out and about with this one, obviously. But uh, I'm sure this one does the job. You know, it'll probably last you for like, I don't know, two weeks before you have to throw it in. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there must be something else. What else can we... Uh, can we look for? Ah, yes, the buttons. Now, this is a big telltale sign. So, with the authentic one, very nice buttons, dark, yeah, like in the pattern. And it says Polo Ralph Lauren on the side. Very difficult to fake. Um, I think it's embroidered. No. Is it the kind of. Well, it, it's there. You can kind of, you know, feel the lettering as well. And with the other one, with the sleeve, same location. You got a button. It. Where the hell did this come from? It's an average button you get from from Asda or somewhere from the antique store or you know, whatever like fabric plate. It's just you know a stock button you can just buy and like you know, put it, attach it on. There is no Ralph Lauren branding. I mean. I should have uh, thought ahead on that one, you know, when I go the extra mile for an authentic look. But yeah, it's it's not there. Yeah, you almost got me, guys. Almost got me. Uh, okay, what else can we... Ah, yes. Um, very good sign. It's the, um, the logo. So let's... Uh, yeah, let's go with the fake one first. So look at this logo here. Uh... <laughs> It's the po the famous pony Ralph Lauren logo. It's very well done, I have to say. Like the guy had a steady hand when he was, um, you know, tracing the the horse and everything. But um, and you and it, no, I mean by itself, you could say, oh yeah, yeah, that is a genuine Ralph Lauren logo. Like, what's wrong with it? Well, it's only when you compare it to the real one where you see the difference. Um, so, uh, check the real one here, darker, you can see all that detail on the inside. You know, all those little lines and stuff, or maybe that might be just the wrinkle from the jacket. I thought those were details anyway, but you can, you can obviously tell, like, who has the craftier, steady hand. I mean, yeah, ju just by looking at it, it's all the color is filled in. That's not filled in. It's just, it's just cut to be somewhat like resembling the the logo. So yeah, that's another sign. 
uh, too many. Oh yeah, I mean at least they went they went the full extra mile to give us the um, information with the label here, uh, the tag, uh, however you call it. So yeah, I mean the real one has the tag. Uh, I mean I'm not gonna go and compare it. You know, this is all in different languages and stuff, so, you know, they can easily copy and trace all this, but, uh, oh, there's a difference here too, I think. I mean, this one has there's more tags, it's got more information, about, like dry cleaning and how to take care of it. And there, I ain't going to tell you shit, it's not going to lie my, my language. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really, I think none of it is in English. <laughs> yeah um now they're both made in india uh the real one's made in india and this one says it's made in india but um i don't know where it's actually made <laughs> but it's uh i mean it's a very well done fake i really have to give it give them that <laughs> I mean, I'm quite, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. If I didn't have the authentic one with me, I probably would have uh, walked around with this one and been fooled everyone else potentially. I mean, you really have to be quite a fashion fanatic to kind of, you know, spot a fake, you know, off the, off the bat, just like straight away. Uh, what else can we say? All right, here's a bit of lining here of the sleeve. Okay, I mean, at least some nice detail. They added there. Do they do that with the real one? Uh, yeah. Uh, pretty much the same. Cool. So uh, I think that's pretty much that's pretty much all I can find. I mean, unless we look at the back. I'm sure, there's some signs there. Uh, so. Oh yeah. Actually, we do have a lot to talk about. Uh, so, the real one. It's got this thing here to um, just to make the jacket a little bit tighter on the back. Uh, it depends on your preference, you know, how, how you like to wear it. Um, here, it doesn't give you the option of a second button to you know to attach it. It's just like. Yeah, that's that's all you're gonna get, mate. Uh, <laughs> uh, same with the buttons. Uh, you know, these ones have the Ralph Lauren branding polo, and those ones do not. Uh, and here it's got little holes here. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what they're for, but uh, these ones don't. So yeah, many differences and many many things that kind of give it away. Oh yes, the authentic one behind the collar, a lot of quality stitching here, very beautifully well done. Oh my god, uh, yeah, it's got that triangle shape and the uh, quality stitches here. And here, the fake one got a little bit, just not as much. It's the real one, and. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's my video on how to spot a fake leather jacket. Hopefully you don't fall victim to one of these scams as I have, but at least it makes quite an interesting topic of conversation and hopefully an informative video. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Have a nice day.